Hello, welcome to my experience podcast. For today, I'm your host, and my name is Joseph. Um, today we have um, uh, David. Um, he is the CEO and founder of Do Seven, and um, today will be he will be taking us um, on um, side hustles. We call the side hustle businesses that you can do um, without leaving your house, even. If you're working and you want something that can uh, generate a little bit of income to support the the house, so so David will introduce himself and uh, we'll give him that opportunity. And uh, before we go, um, David, you're welcome to the show today. Can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, thank you, Joe. Thank you for the opportunity. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, um, Joe, you started off. Um, Playing a little trumpet. Um, I'm, 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 I'm not that. Uh, I'm not that big, as you, as you would say. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, like I said, I'm David, and um, I've been able over the years to to start up a few uh, businesses, which you know some failed, some also um, you know have been able to gain some traction, and yeah. I'm Nigerian, and Joe is a friend. And um, initially, it was my my passion for entrepreneurship and um, you know business because for me it's more about. I believe as um, an African, I see um, I see how our parents trained us. I see what's happening around. I see the complaint. I see the struggle. So my point is, um, there's this passion for me to, you know try to help people just like I've tried to help myself because it's a learning process to mm-hmm. create wealth. For me, it's, that is the only way we can empower ourselves. As much as we complain about the government, as much as we complain about the economy, as much as we point fingers to the other person, but every nation, every great family, every individual who has been able to help himself to be free from the struggles, have always created something. It's just natural. Mm-hmm. As even the Bible will say, go into the world and multiply. So I wouldn't want to beat about the bush. That's a little introduction of my mind frame or my mindset. So that has always propelled me to, you know, somehow some start up something. Just yeah. start up something. Even if it's not successful, but just start up something. So, you know, you know, you I will be able to go above the struggle. But we're still in the struggle anyway, too. Yeah, that is um that is a wonderful introduction. So um, today um, we want to ask you um, uh, some uh, some of your experience um, in a side hustle and uh, uh, starting up a business uh, from uh, virtually where you are, and um, especially people who um, who live here in the UK, where so many of the times the the income is not always enough. Not always, not o- 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 only to people who are here, wherever you are in the in the world, in Nigeria, everywhere, and uh, you can also benefit from this. So, um, what can you say over the years that your experience has been in that regard? Like the the challenges people, or maybe when you are trying to start up. And uh, teaching people how to start a side hustle, what can you say that has been one of the challenges you've seen? That's a very great question and very good question, Joe. I must say that if I have a conversation, which I've always had conversations with people, Mm -hmm. and um, ask them, what is your major challenge in starting up a business? They will say it's money. Mm -hmm. They will say it's the fund. I was speaking with... um, a colleague back in the day and he told me I was actually I went to the market to buy stuff yes. for my um small business back in Nigeria, right? So yeah. I was in a computer village particularly because mm-hmm. then uh I was into buying and selling for the most part of computer related equipment as mm-hmm. well as the service um the um accessories. Okay, yeah. so I met a, I met a colleague while in the market. So he said, um, Devo, I, I, I beg, I beg, most come, come for money for my business. Me with it, me are still the, we're still in the struggle. I'm still in the hustle, okay? Yeah. But from his mind frame, it's like the general populace of people would always say it's money. 
mm-hmm. that they will say, ah, the challenge is money. Some would say um, that they have, they have, uh, they don't even know what to, how to start, what to start, mm-hmm. how to go about it, you know. But for the most part, they will say it's money. That I would say is actually a challenge, but at the same time, I would say that with the right information, mm-hmm. I'm not sure that is totally and completely a challenge. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you want me to proceed, but you asked about what are the challenges. But if okay. you want me to proceed, to... yeah, can you uh, address a little bit on there? On All right. So my thoughts to him, my answer to the guy was: So, um, have you, do you have anything you would you have to show? Mm-hmm. If you say you want your your money is a problem, do you have a product or a service or something that you've been able to have proof of concept? Now he said no. They ask you to uh, bring uh, that he has ideas and ideas that there's no money. Okay. The same thing applies. It cuts across the entire global ecosystem. As far as we're talking about Nigeria, my experience here in the UK as well, um, people would say they need a substantial amount of money to start up. Some would say that they are very busy. I mean, they get, you know, overwhelmed by, you know, so many things, the challenges and the rest of them. But I'm still in the opinion that, bro, we have, it's, it's a future we're trying to build, right? Right? We're trying to build a future for, for ourselves and, and freedom for our generations, right? Mm. The, the mode at which we're going about it isn't, for the most part, going to give us that freedom we seek. Mm. So that understanding, for example, if you say money is your problem mm. and you do not have the ability or you do not know how to create something that you can present. For example, go to the bank. The reason you have banks, banks are not, they're not just there to collect your money. Their, their main business is financing. Yeah. Okay. You know that. And they have a language they speak. For me, when, well, for me, for my example is, I was, I started off as, as, as a service-based business. I didn't have, it's not like I would need a, a whole truckload of money. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I just have to start something like computer repairs, which was that's what I started. So computer repairs, the skill, um, um, what do you call it? Managing of um, I, uh, IT support. I didn't, I didn't need any much uh, money to start that. But that would, at least for the most part, give that the, the foundations to start establishing relationships, relationships. Now, even if I have to go and get some money to start up the business, which I thought was a challenge, they will still ask me these questions like, do you have proof of concept? What is your product? What services do you offer? You get what I'm saying? Then I'll be able to say, yes, okay, I've been able to gain traction based on this particular startup that I've had over years. Based on this feedback I've got from a customer, this is the amount of revenue I've been able to generate. I've gotten contracts worth certain certain amounts, but we need financing for this contract such that now they know that there's substance, there's something they can they are putting their money into, yeah. right? So I, I would say yes, we ha- there are a lot of challenges. For example, being busy, um, money uh, not available. But I, I'm not completely sure that that those, for the most part, are really challenged if we choose to, you know, do something about it. Okay, so um, uh, that is a, a, a brilliant uh, response. So, um, if we can uh, bring that to today, where we have um, the uh, the advent of uh, internet and the, the penetration of social media have changed the landscape of everything in terms of starting a business. How can you um, relate starting a business to like now in terms of physical product or maybe non-physical? Yeah, I mean, technology currently has empowered us far beyond our wireless imaginations, far beyond what we ever envisage or think about. I must say this, right? You and I, if we're comparing the power we have Mm-hmm. You and I currently to what a pharaoh who was a king and a commander of the entire, you know, world back in the day. Mm-hmm. I would say we are a lot more sophisticated now that 
if you had a pharaoh then i mean he had the power to do a lot of things to take life and stuff yeah. but with what we have now mm. it's amazing it's mind blowing let me give you an example right okay say i want to start up a, a say i want to start up something now an idea a business now mm. right let me show you an example of something okay see this product yeah this is chim chim right yeah okay this is somebody's this is typical chinchin we we yeah. we have yeah um that you and i can just fry and just make yeah. in the in the house just just to relate to the topic of this this conversation which is yeah. starting up something yeah. from where you are from your home yeah. with the resources you have you can just literally start up something and you're talking about how to use the internet now uh, what i will do mm -hmm. is first of all I would go and do some, say, market research. Mm -hmm. So that market research is trying not to go into the market blindly. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of us make that mistake. We just think we have an idea and we believe it's something, but we have not validated or tested that idea to see if it actually works. Now, mm -hmm. the, what the internet will do for me is we have Google Trends. This is, mm -hmm. I'm sharing this now. So whoever is listening to this, just type www.googletrends.com mm -hmm. when you go on google trends you would see a location so you bring in you can write down 10 ideas which i can share some ideas if if, if your if your listeners want to share some ideas so for example now i'm talking about changing right mm -hmm. now changing falls under a category which is um say it's consumed by africans right yeah. so i can say african foods in the uk which would be um a caption i could also type chim chim so these are key words that if i am if somebody say in the uk is looking for chim chim he or would, anywhere any location they might yeah. find it, yeah. he would type say african snacks right so you look for keywords that an average person would look for mm -hmm. and if you go on google trend you type in chim chim mm -hmm. or african snacks google will show you the trend now, from the trend, if you see that it is spiking, then you know there's demand for it. So that is one way to do market research. It goes more complicated than this, okay? So there are so many other tools like SEM Rush, Keyword Finder, or, I mean, with experience, when you get into, when you venture into this, you will get to find out more. Mm -hmm. But for a start, start with Google Trends. Then you will be able to see that, okay, there's demand for it. Another way is, in your local communities, in your group, WhatsApp groups and the rest of them, fry some chinching, nice chinching at your workplace. Share the chinching. Tell them, I'll have a taste of this. Would you like to buy this? You see, this is, you're not, it doesn't cost you, it's not costing you so much. This is you now validating the product. Would you like to buy this? How much will, would you pay? How much would you like to pay for this? Sometimes you can draft a survey. A survey is, you can go on, it's free, Google Forms. From Google Forms, you will type questions. If you do not know the questions at the top of your head, so you can now see how I'm using the internet, right? I can go on ChatGPT mm -hmm. and type, you are starting up a business. You can put the prompt, you are starting up a business, which is an African snack named Chin Chin. Now you need to carry out a survey. Write out survey questions for me, possibly that I could send to users. It will draft up questions. Then you take those questions, put on Google Forms. These are free. When you put on Google Forms, you share it on your groups. Guys, please fill, fill this form for me. From the feedback, you will now get data and see what people are asking for. Now, when you now get people, see what people are asking for. Before a product like this was brought out, they must have done their market research. They must have done competitive analysis. They must have done, um, seeing what their opposition is saying. Then what I would do is I would now know that, okay, this is what people are saying. Too much sugar, less sugar. You now know yeah. this is not costing me anything, right? Yeah. Then I would come then and think about how do I have now known what to sell, right? Based on the pocket feedback. Yeah. Thinking, I'm just using that as an example. There's yeah. so many ideas. Then I would take the chin chin that I have made, right? Mm -hmm. I can't. I mean, I've already shared to some people. People say I need some more. You tell them, okay, it's launching certain certain time. Mm -hmm. 
it's launching maybe in the next three weeks we're starting up and matter of fact you can pre-order i mean you've started building up some some um you know expectation on the product yeah now if you do not have the capacity to fry the chinchin, if you do, you can go for your kitchen and start. You can just start small. You can say you want to put maybe 300 or 500 pounds of water. This is just market testing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You talk about packaging. Now, packaging, you would have you know, a lot of companies. You can go on Alibaba, you can go on AliExpress. You look for food packaging. They will show you samples food packaging mm. with with us i mean five three or two hundred pounds fifty pounds you can get good amount of packaging based on the capacity you're starting mm -hmm. you have fried your changing you have the packaging you can this they tell you, you you have they have services to provide stickers for you okay now remember this is a, this is all in the internet just to answer mm -hmm. a question you're not doing you're just sitting typing you're going on aliexpress you're using Google Trends. You're using Google Fund, um, Google Forms. Um, you can use Canva. Canva is free. You go design a logo. You have templates of logos. You can call it Mama Chin Chin or whatever Chin Chin. You go mm -hmm. do several solutions. You know, you just go do the logo on Canva. It's free. These are all on the internet. You have used AI, which is ChatGPT. Whatever questions you do not understand, just put it on the AI. AI will give you suggestions. You, with your own uh, the understanding, also you know, mm -hmm. you understand. Make a, make a, make it just make it soft. Make it now you have now been able to sit down from where you are, craft out a process and a structure, your branding, your packaging. You have contacted these people are waiting. For, your business is waiting for you to start. It's just that you haven't started. They are waiting for you. These Chinese people, they will even disturb you. So they. I mean, they will send you a message that you could say, ah, come on, that me they waste time. They will ask you, so how many pieces of the packaging do you want? All you just need to do is send them a chart. Send them a chart, mm -hmm. right? Tell them, um, um, and sometimes you need to know how to speak to them as well. But I mean, I just need you to just get there. When you get there, you will find out that all these things are things that you can, you would be able to, um, you know, to manage. My mm -hmm. point is, you've been able to use the internet to facilitate or even to register your business name it's still on the internet you register the business name and then you create the product you can put it on social media facebook um linkedin um yeah linkedin put it on twitter put it on instagram tiktok create videos just keep going share them then for the people you've been able to create um as as customers who have demanded for it you send them send all those things out then i mean Gradually, you'll be learning the process, and you're in business. So that is uh, that is good. So um, the the next question I I uh, want us to uh, look at is uh, you have just given an analogy of uh, an example of starting a changing business. If we can maybe take it to um, our society, where we come from, where there are some businesses that. If I would say some low-hanging businesses that people don't, they just overlook those businesses. Like the the, the example you give now of Chinchim, because obviously we know our society we look we look down on so many things. If we say okay, like somebody now who is in Nigeria, or maybe who is not in the UK, and most people don't have um, access to a lot of this information on how to go. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is, um, if we take this, just the example that you have given now about starting up a changing business in our place, like the society where we come, we it look as if there are some businesses that is a low hanging fruit that people overlook and there are people who does not have access or maybe they know how to use all these internet uh, technologies now that you have mentioned to promote or maybe to brand their businesses 
do you think when they sit down and say oh phone phone is my problem do you think that is entirely the truth you mean phone no phone say, yes phone yes oh like phone like money right yes no no it's not it's it's it's, it's that's the perception that's what they think right that's what they believe based on what they've been fed and the educational system i'm just i mean it's a good system mm -hmm. but that's it's not complete not fully it's not well taught i mean even the people who are teaching you are also trying are waiting to get paid by a businessman who, who has a school owns a school who probably is in class so they probably do not understand this um except for say big business financial um persons maybe um, school school of business schools and the rest of it but typically we just go through a system and we're taught how to to work, how to get a job. Okay, mm -hmm. so this understanding of, um, I mean, I call it the lean startup bootstrapping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in in the tech in the tech, I mean, in um, tech startups, right? Mm -hmm. If you're in uh, technology, if you've been able to go into the technology ecosystem, call it bootstrapping. Bootstrapping is like starting up with what you have, where you are limited resources mm -hmm. based on the skill set you are able to have to have learned so funds funding is not completely the the the, the challenge the challenge would be the know-how that's why we need to make proper net connections we have linkedin right people can easily create a profile on linkedin connect with people that's the way to meet with more professional people doesn't mean you're meeting with that completely business people in my experience What's from my own experience, I literally went, I was actually serving as a Nigerian Youth Corps member. Mm -hmm. I was working in the ministry, but I had to go to the market. I served for up to five years. I served for like five years, not paid. I worked with the real, you know, this real business trading people who drop some of them don't even know how to write but these guys know the business okay so that's not what i'm saying that you should do but my point is with the understanding from those things we have been able to learn which you and i can also learn which your users people who probably have not been able to some people have the money but they able they can't figure these things out because of lack of, i mean they've been trained to work 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 yeah. work work they don't know how to go about all this thing, like start up something so it starts by starting yeah. bootstrap try to prove try proof of concepts do not be worried about failing in my opinion Go start, put up some like this chinchin I just shared as a narrative. Go start up. When you enter the business, then you will now start networking and seeing that oh, oh okay. Um, to get funds, you probably I mean there are people who want to give you money, but they you they don't they know they are not ready. They are called angel investors. Mm -hmm. They have seed funds. They have investment bodies. For example, you have companies like um, Paystack, GG. Jumia, these people have been able to create get funding over two hundred million dollars. Right, this flutter wave, they've amassed funding, and their valuation is up to a over a billion dollars, two billion. These are companies, right? That people bootstrapped, guys who just came together, started up, were able to program. I'm not saying you. I mean, you can start up with anything, but when the people, when you, when a, a, a an investor see that there's proof. Of concept that what you are doing is scalable is mm -hmm. something they can put in their money then you can negotiate equity they can say okay um this is your business because you must have registered it with maybe mm -hmm. companies out in the uk cac in nigeria if it's in the us i mean business registration now is now easy mm -hmm. anybody can do it you register and now you now know your your you know probably if you're starting up as a maybe an, F, an llc mm -hmm. now they can negotiate that okay I'm putting in this amount of money. I'm getting, let me say, 30% equity in the business or 40% equity, which is like share, like, mm -hmm. you know, shareholding and stuff and, and the rest of it. Then they bring in their money, bring in their resources. You see, you've, you've not only just did was start up something that was able, that you're able to present to them that this is working with evidence. Then they put in money. 
Um, so how do you think, like somebody who wants to start up in business, um, how do you think like um, a networking and the uh, deep uh, research and maybe trying to get a little bit of in-depth knowledge of what they are going to do? How do you think that will uh, help them either succeeding or failing? So your, 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 is your question how they will be able, what they need to do, things they need to do to start up? No, what I said is, how do, how do you think networking, like trying to oh. get people who are in that uh, kind of um, setting and doing a deep research of a lot, maybe trying to get a deep knowledge of what the the terrains of the business they are trying to start how right. do you think that will um, very great affect, question Joe. Affect them very business? great question networking is is important like in Ni nigeria we would say connection it's mm -hmm. just simply networking yeah so you get to meet people who with are within your ecosystem you get to share ideas you get to understand their mind frame for example i I am still in the struggle, like I said. Mm -hmm. So, so people shouldn't be believing. Probably have blown and made it. Particularly, it's it's a constant, you know, you know, um, it's a constant. I wouldn't call let me not call it a struggle because it's it's fun, but at the same time, the struggle. But my point is, it's um, you need people who are able to who have like mentors, mm -hmm. who have been able who have gone through that path. Remember when you and I met Cosmos Maduka, right? Mm -hmm. You facilitated that conversation. And I must say you, I must give you your kudos to what you're also doing, just like you're creating this platform. You understand these things, right? I mean, it's just for we can share ideas. Yeah. But the point is, my networking with you has been able to create this, this um, platform where we're sharing. Mm -hmm. You've had some other important nights nice which have also understand and I've, I've, I think I've watched a few videos. You can see the networking, mm -hmm. people from different um, sectors of life. Mm -hmm. Now, I probably may not be that finance guy who knows, ex or a lawyer who knows particularly that. Now, if I need, maybe if I'm starting up a changing business, mm -hmm. right, you need, you probably will need some license, some licensing, or mm -hmm. I mean, that's food item. Maybe if you're selling in the UK, if some, mm -hmm. some clearance. I cannot go on. To, I don't know any, everything. But if I'm networking now, I probably know somebody that will say, ah, bro, you need to do it like this. You need to do it like this. You need yeah. to get this certification. You need to get this. So you know you're doing everything within the um, legal envelope, okay? Apart from that, um, yeah, funding. Sometimes you can, you can have the good connection. They say people do business with people they know, people they like, okay? So I... Sometimes I take it up on myself to go for conferences, mm -hmm. not because I I really have anything to gain, but it's good for networking. Mm -hmm. Just go for a conference, go for a trade fair, go for, um, I mean, for the areas which you believe you you want to venture into. You mm -hmm. can go on um, you can go online and search for events near me. Easily you see them, some are free, some are paid. You go. You attend, you meet with people, you share LinkedIn, um, you know, you connect with them. Over time, I mean, you they start gaining and getting, um, you know, what do you call it, connections that will be able to some teach you, some help you in different ways. So, I mean, you can see a lot of benefits from, from networking. So, that is um, good. So, the uh, before we wrap up, the, the next question that I would like to ask you, do you have any, any, like, something just for example or maybe to throw out there to the audience like if somebody wants to start something that something that is not necessarily a, a physical product and they want to do some business like that do you have something that you can say yeah. okay this is an example of sure. things that you can do like is it something like that sure sure so i've been waiting for this because this i would say is where what where a lot of people the category a lot of people fall into because as much as we're talking about chim chim physical products it sounds sometimes it's, it sounds overwhelming yes but let's for let's say for example especially um people here 
in the UK, let's say Africans here in the UK, most people work and for them to work, they have a skill. Yes. Some of your skill is IT, some of your skill is accountancy. I have spoken with a lot of people who earn high amount of money. They are earning so much money, but I mean, you'll be asking, you, I'll be asking myself, these people, how, what are they really doing? At the, at the end of the day, they're, they're only waiting for, for pension, but they have some skill sets. And what the way they train, I see their, the framework for the way they train, and I would I have some better, like, do you create a course? Madam, create a course. Mm-hmm. Now, for them to create a course, that's when you see the same, where the business sense now has to come. So a lot of us, a lot of people, them, do not really have this, this Ibambo, if I enable, this hustle, this, mm-hmm. there are a lot of things you need to put in place. So for example, now I'm saying, create a course. That is one way that you can sell your idea. Now to do that, I will share my own example. I've been able to create a course which is on online where where you would I have myself, you know, break what I have known into model. There's something you know that somebody else is praying to know. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you're a business analyst, let's say you are um an accountant, let's say even you're working in the civil service. There's something you know mm-hmm. that you can package. Now what you probably need to do is I know that what people do is they just they just bring people all together on a call and then start teaching, mm-hmm. you know, sharing it. But it's that is not scalable, then there's no continuity to that. Now, you can have a way where you would break those your courses. You can have a end goal, how to take somebody from point A to point B, from not knowing to knowing, let's say becoming a business analyst or becoming an accountant. Not necessarily, you can also say, um, maybe a home, a stay-at-home wife, and you know how to cook. Mm-hmm. You want to show somebody your cookbook. Mm-hmm. You can now see that you have a cookbook, right? How mm-hmm. to move, um, the best way to prepare a foreign salad. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. The best way to become a, 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 you know how to sew. How to start from nowhere to become, you see with the journey you are taking the person mm-hmm. from nowhere to become a fashion designer. Mm-hmm. Now, what you would now do is, what will you teach the person physically from A to Z? You break down into models. Now, you can break, you can record your videos in t- 10, 10 minutes or maximum, let's say five minutes chunks, different topics, different topics, different topics. You can have as much as 20. Mm-hmm. You don't need to put all at once. That's why it's a course. That's why it's, you have some people create, you have people that have a thousand courses. Mm-hmm. These thousand courses, each of them is like it's priced at maybe it's from thirty dollars. Some they have different pricing models where mm-hmm. some of them you have personal consultation involved and mm-hmm. they charge you about five five k. So what I'm saying is, let's say you start with a model just to test your market to start, so you can sell each um, subscription for say um, five, say fifty pounds or thirty pounds. You break. You just take one one part of what you know mm-hmm. that you know that you can. Put, somebody can get value from that thing. Then you start recording. I can share you a lot. I mean, what people will be thinking is, how do I start recording? What software do I need to use? Yeah, I can share them. Right now, recording. You have your camera, right? With a good iPhone, you can mm-hmm. do it. With a good smartphone, you can do it. Yeah. Now you have screen recording app. That you can, or I can suggest to you. We have Camtasia. If you down, if you download C A M T A S I A, it is a way where you would be able to be showing your screen, and then and your care. face would be in the camera, in the camera, your 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 webcam. Now that is a way for you to be able to show your screen. So if that's the way you want to teach, now there's a way you can also add some flavor to what you're teaching. So you can also start by putting different pieces. You can introduce yourself with your camera facing you first and say, "Hi, I am so 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 so. so. I've been an experience in so 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 so. I've been able to share, create some impact, and I'm showing this course. That is a video of you introducing yourself. So it's not your screen. Now you take that part." Plus the parts that you have recorded on your screen, plus some other parts that you'll be, sh- you'll be showing around. You bring, you have software like maybe CapCut, they are free to edit your videos, put them all together, put them, right? Mm-hmm. You start putting them, it's free. 
you put them all together, put captions. If you do not know it, you have a cousin or somebody who you can just or go on Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R, F-I-V-R-R. Mm-hmm. You have people that will be able, you'll see different rates, people that can edit for you, people that can create, if you want them to, even whatever you want them to do, they will do it for you for small money. They do it. There are people that are waiting for these jobs. They are waiting for you. They create it for you, manage it for you, make it, they also have experience. Then what you now do is you take those, that course, you go on platforms. Now I'll share some platforms. Now you have LinkedIn Learning, which was formerly Linda.com, but it links in box Linda.com. You can upload it there. It's a paid, paid service, so you get money from it. But in my opinion, if you're starting, and you need to create what I would call an email list where people would be able, you're creating, if you have an email list, people that have been able to subscribe to you, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, if you put that up, maybe you put, you can put, um, you, can, you can decide to make your first for free. So you can create an email list. The reason I'm saying this is to get markets so that subsequently you can resell to them. But if you want to start selling immediately, then that's fine. You can put it on LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn Learning. You can put it on their loose of them. You can put it on a platform. It's free. It's called system.io. System.io gives you the entire, it is actually built for course, course, course creation. You can have, it gives you a way where you can market maybe Mark, let's say, run ad to Facebook ads, link it back to system that I to gain traction for people to down, down buy your course. It gives you a payment gateway where they will be able to make payments and you get your money direct to your account. Mm-hmm. Gives you an access to create a landing page that sells the, co- the course. So if you sell the course, to give you, I mean, creating a course is one thing, but selling is another one. So they give you all the frameworks, right? So that's one way that people who are not able to start to physical product. Another one is e-commerce, right? You can yeah. just decide to do, say, drop shipping. You know, you have all you need to do is say you create a website. Are we beyond time? Uh, is, is no, it okay? No, sir. Yeah, we are wrapping up now. Pardon? We are wrapping up now, so we just um... all right. So I mean, maybe subsequently I could share more, but I'm giving an instance. Another one is e-commerce. So all you need to do is you can go to a market. There are people who sell wholesale, mm. or you go on Amazon, you go on AliExpress. Yeah. You, you source a product. Now that product, you can decide to say, I want to sell this. Okay. Mm. Now you negotiate a good price. And then if you want to bring it in, you can bring it in. If you decide not to, all you need to do is set up a platform, maybe a website. You can go on Fiverr, they can build you something. If you're able to build it, you build it yourself. It's not that, it's not too expensive. When you create a website, they will put the product there. All you need to do is, when you're on Facebook, sometimes you'll see, they will show you boost this post, right? That's it. So when you put those products, post it, target the location you want. So when you target the location you want, route that boost to the page of that product where people will buy. So the more you boost it, the more you add that like media buying, yeah. people will go. They will order the product. They will pay you. When they pay you, you would now connect to the supplier. You pay the supplier. Supplier will deliver directly to the produce, the seller, the customer, and then you split the difference. So these are a few few other ways that uh, yeah, you could that get is, this going. Uh, that is wonderful. So um, thank you um, so much for all this uh, insight. And then um, we are sure going to come back again on this uh, because it's not something that we can just take on again and uh, give out these insights and we people can actually make a little uh, income on the side for themselves. And uh, with that, I um, want to thank you, David, for coming on the show again and for the experiences and the intense knowledge that you share with us. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we will come back again for, for another episode. So on that note, uh, um, what is your last uh, word for our viewers and people who are looking to just get their hand on something to to get more income on the side thanks for having me joe um although i'm um i'm not sure if you you want me to finish up by saying something but i mean it's it's been an amazing experience and i need people to 
you know, in my opinion, this is the only way we can we can we can free ourselves. I mean, we're working. Everybody needs a good good job, but sometimes, in my opinion, it's not it 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 starts up somewhere, but it's a struggle. It could take you as much as ten years before you are able to we are able to you know make it say is strong. Yeah. Yeah. You know? But it's worth the while, I would say. So we keep believing. Thank you so much. We will come back again. Now. For the viewers, I remain Joseph, um, your host, and this is my experience podcast. Until then, we'll see you again. Thank you.